good day everyone so in this in today's video i'll be showing you how um, the student terminal reports management system works i'll be demonstrating going into each uh, part of of it so without waste too much time please let's get into it so when you download the file this is what you get you you get um a zip file like this so first we need to extract we go to extract to that we we'll wait a little bit and my computer is running very slow i don't know all right so after extracting you get this folder you open the folder let's open again then you will get an executable file like like this a file that can be executed yes uh, this is an access i have just uh, made it like that okay so we double click to install okay Okay, so we have this we need to place a shortcut on the desktop click on continue we accept and start the installation process okay so we don't need to launch the application after installing so we on on check then we click ok and this this is the shortcuts all right so what you do is you right click you go to properties then run new windows we change it to minimize windows so we don't want to see the access flash uh, form that comes before the the host uh, application opens so we apply and we say okay all right so now let's open the file uh, yeah double click okay so this is what uh, the first interface of it where we have the sign in or the login form you can also sign up here you get a sign up here if you're, if you're already sign in okay so we you can sign up from the screen we have already signed up so let's sign in okay so i'm going to put in my username then i'll add my password okay then i'll print okay all right so this is the interface the dashboard of the application very beautiful we have exam system we have welcome to welcome the username log logout and we have home and dashboard we have this showing the user then we have the dash the these are the menu we have dashboard as you can see it's now students active students inactive students grade school grade levels subjects and reports all right so we're going to go through each of the menus that we have here so already we have a dashboard and when you click on the master data we have uh, other sub menus we have level which can also be department we have class subject teacher and then students okay and then relationship we have class teacher we have level and subjects then we have exams we have general reports we have user management and settings so first let's go to the settings then we come back to look at uh, other things okay so under settings you have uh, institution name we have phone number we have email we have address or location we have the term so you can change the term uh first term second term third term then the year and starting date and ending dates which will be shown on the report uh, of the students and you can change the school uh logo you click on choose to open up a directory then you pick the logo you want to use for uh, so we close it all right and you can save yeah so here we'll 
uh, contain or you, the institution details here all right so after doing that already i have some uh, input data here so i'll just go back to dashboard okay so let's start with the master data under master data we have levels we have class we have uh, as i've already explained so let's click on the level so when you click on the levels it shows departments which is the, the same thing as that all right so here you can choose to show the number of record you can choose to show the first 5 10 20 30 50 you can choose to show all then you can print you can excel you can send to excel then you can also print as pdf all right then you can search so let's try the search lower yes so as you type search okay so you can do the search in here you can edit you click on edit you, you select the record and you click on edit it will take you to edit department so you can do your editing here you can also delete i don't want to do that but okay you can delete okay, let's see the lower primary let's delete lower primary so yes it is gone so we can go back to add so let's say add all right so i will say lower uh, primary primary all right so let's see all right so lower primary is back here we have lower primary here all right so that is for the department you can do a lot of things here and when you go to class to the same thing you can edit class you can delete class you can search you can print class you can send our class to excel you can show pdf and you can add class and you can edit yeah so you have this you can choose the department and uh, you can also delete i want to delete these two i think they are click on delete it is gone then this one you can click delete it's also gone and we can also add class here just cancel all right so the class is uh, also done here then we have subject so the subject here contains uh, is being on the class and then the subject they, they have so we can have a number of subjects here so here we have 12 uh, 11 subjects yes you are counting so here we can let's see if we can show Okay, so we have the first five records one two three four five yes this is it yeah then we can also show all records yes that is it we can search let's see ss uh, social studies yes can it is working we can edit is yes, select then you click on edit we can edit here okay so save then we can also add we add record okay so we have it like this then we can go to teacher okay so teacher you can add teacher is the same it follows the same pattern you can edit you can delete as you can see here then the students so we have students uh, class departments status and then yeah a lot we have a lot of student 95 as you can see that only a few have been so you can go here then we edit so what are we editing we choose department choose um let's say basic two department is junior uh basic two department should be lower primary then the status is active let me see all right so you can see that we, we have it here so here too you can search you can find the first 10 records yes this is the first 10 records you can also choose to show all records like that all right so we are done with the master data now let's go back let's go to look at uh, the relationship okay so we have class all right so i think um yeah the same thing here you can edit class let me add more edits then i'll add more class to it okay save all right so uh, for a teacher like uh, sam emmanuel he teaches class 2 class uh, basic 2 basic 3 and basic 4 yeah so we can do that you can add more and a teacher like Solomon Mensah 
he also teaches basic one basic two basic three all right so that is it. you can add new teacher and then the class uh you can also edit you can delete as you can see all right so let's go to the exams so for exams we have add exams add uh, add exams and then mark entry so you can see here that we have exams we have computing for basic two basic one two three range for basic as you can see so we can add more so for example mathematics we can edit mathematics for more class like uh, class 4 class 3 yes and class 1 all of them they do math so okay and then we save so you can see the mathematics exams mathematics we have uh, basic 1 having mathematics with 2 having mathematics with 3 having mathematics with 4 having mathematics so all these class do mathematics exam so these are the uh, various exams exams id subject and the class that we take the exams all right you can also find the first as i've shown you you can edit you can print so now you can also go to mark entry so when you go to mark entry you see that we have some student marks being added here you can see it as it is so we can choose to you can search you can print you can uh, export as they are here so we can edit so let's edit this yeah so when you edit that this is what you get okay so the student let's see we can add one more uh, mark so information and communication that is ICT we have integrated science computing let's see the okay so let's add mathematics so for class score is uh, 30 for exams is 69 then we add all right so we get 99 then we save okay i call save successfully very good so you can see that we have uh, added uh, another record here yeah so we can delete we can edit uh, and so forth here the same thing we can show the first five record yeah this is it we can print uh, we can search and other things we can also add new for example uh we choose a student in class three then we choose this okay already this student has a max for the current term so we can add more uh, mathematics 20 uh sorry 23 and uh, 65 add okay so that you save all right okay so you can see it has been added here 23 and 60 that is 80 uh okay so let's show our record our record yeah so the current that one that we added we have this one as you can see you can search okay so that is it for the exams now let's go to report so when you go to report we have apart from having printing yeah, each record on the main form you can also come to report and then you do printing so you can print student list you can show so when you click on show yes yeah, so this is the student list or oh, you can print students who are active so I can print only students in class 2 let's show yeah, so this list for basic 2 class list for basic 2 so only basic 2 you can filter the report as you want so in basic 2 we only uh these are the students there i want to print jude so show it will show only jude yes so basic 2 jude i can also print basic 2 then the gender will be male alone so males yes so jude is the only male in form uh basic 2 as you can see so you can filter the report the same thing when you come to teachers you can print all teachers so let's show teachers yeah we have them here these are the teachers okay now you can print teachers who are active so we go to status then we select active i think it's only two yes so you see we have two teachers who are active so the same thing all the buttons we can export you can go to exams so exams since we have our uh, academic here or it is going to show all the records so this is the exams all the marks we have put in here now let's say if you want to search for only first term 
system we select first i think clean through the system we set to uh second term so let's see okay so there's nothing for that let's go to second term and check yeah so second term uh is is here we have this record for second second term okay so you can go to reports and then you show reports all right so this is how the report looks like uh this is basic two and you have other events the events that is position is field and we have position we have name we have uh, academic year we have time we have uh, class position and then number one row then we also have um status that is field raw score which is this we have the grading okay so let's look at that of only class one <coughs> excuse me all right so let's show that of class one no record for that uh, all right let's go to class two okay yes this is class two so there's no record for students in class two but i think we have record for students in class uh class one but this this one okay let's go back okay so we can also print print pdf of uh this so let me select report and click on pdf just going to print the pdf yeah okay so we say terminal report pdf okay all right it's printing okay all right so i think my pdf reader is down here okay it is not showing yet but we have saved the pdf so you can go back to the uh, folder and then check how the pdf looks like okay so then we have the user manager yeah, done with report user manager and then you can also add user you can uh, edit user you can delete user you can print users you can uh, uh, export users and, and, and so forth all right so uh, you can also do settings I think that is enough we have come to this conclusion so let's go back to dashboard all right so that is a very beautiful dashboard i think you will be liking this video please uh, like my video share and comment uh, that is very important for me uh, yeah so thank you very much for today i'll see you in later videos bye bye